Is that is that a belly? Is is this a belly? Or is that her skirt? Look, Sydney is right there watching, bro. She like, you ain't said nothing to me, Marvin. You ain't said nothing to me. I'm a need her. to the video i just want to put y'all on some game real quick this is a website called instant gaming here you can get some of your favorite games for a discounted price uh from the sims 4 to dead by daylight they're really sure to have a game that you've been wanting to play for a while so check out instant gaming to fulfill all of your gaming needs the link is in the description box below as always the very first link you see it's right there i promise you it's right there so you ain't gotta go too far but let's go ahead and get back to the video what is up all my guys and goddesses and welcome back to the channel where we spread nothing but love, positivity, and happiness and that's on what? That's on period my good sis. In today's video we're going to be doing another episode of Gen Z episode uh, 5. Um, and this is Sydney's episode. As you guys know we played with Marvin last and um, we were trying to figure out if baby girl was pregnant or not. Her belly was looking a little plump at that pool party so here we are right now getting straight into it about to see is sydney pregnant i didn't see any comments saying whether she was or she wasn't i don't know if y'all didn't pay attention to that but i'm gonna need y'all to pay attention so sydney is uh let's see she's on the toilet she's getting ready to let us know i am going to only show this part of her because i do not have my streaming mode in and i want to see the animation a little Oh, Sydney. Oh, uh, maybe it doesn't take her pants off. Okay. What? What is it? Is it yes? She looks sad. Oh, she like she waiting. <gasps> Are you pregnant, sis? <laughs> I think she's right. <gasps> she look mad. Wait, pause. <laughs> it's her being mad about it. <laughs> Okay, Sydney is mad, but yes, Sydney is eating for two. Um, I'm so excited. Well, I'm not excited, actually. This is not a good thing for her. Uh, she did not want to be pregnant. She's Her brother's going to be so mad when she finally tells him, but right now she is not showing. Um, By the way, that is the pregnancy overhaul that I have that makes it so that my Sims do not show in their first trimester, Um, and their belly is a little bit smaller throughout the pregnancy period. But she is not showing at the moment. Uh, it really was just her skirt at that time, I'm sure. Um, but bless your heart, sis. She is pregnant. And her buff is... Sydney did not expect this pregnancy and is really not sure what she wants it. If she... That she wants it at all. I can't read, but it's happening. What should she do? <clears throat> pregnancy freak out. Pregnant. It hits Sydney now how young she is, how little she wants anything major and life-changing happening at this point in time, how little she feels ready to handle such a thing. And yet this pregnancy is exactly that. Major, life-changing, impossible not to freak out. What will her parents say, her friends, the father of her child? I really wonder what Marvin is gonna say. We're gonna ask him, we're gonna tell him in this video. We're gonna see what's going on. And she got high right before this. I have no clue she did it on her own. Um, She has it in her inventory, so I guess she just took it upon herself to roll her one and get spiffy with it. She is very tense. Very tense. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sydney. <laughs> this is what you get for being a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. No one deserves this. But, um, wow. We're not going to tell our brother until we, like, really start showing... I don't think she would tell him immediately. I think she would kind of like keep it a secret for a while as long as she can and then tell him, oh wow, this is really hurting everything. And today is Monday. As you know, we ended on Sunday with uh, Marvin. So today is Monday, it is fall. Um, there's nothing really else going on this week. She just, this episode, I kind of just wanted to see if she was pregnant and play off that if that is the case. So. That's basically what we're going to do. We're going to kind of like tell Marvin when we have a chance. So probably after school, we're going to tell Marvin and um, see what he says. Yo, she's slamming shit. So you got to calm down. How are you going to be randomly cooking this early in the... 
more you cut yourself okay all right listen listen boo boo listen oh she got morning sickness already girl it just started she is so upset with herself okay so she could go no we'll go tomorrow morning we'll kind of like go if before we go to school girl you gotta stop slamming my shit like dead ass serious you gonna stop slamming my shit i don't care how mad you are let's go ahead oh wait wait before we do this i know she's hungry um we're gonna get you some food at school boo boo but um i do want her to come in her room really quickly and call the doctor um and set up an appointment to make sure she's okay um so let's go ahead and do that go to the doctor go to lbgyn by herself since nobody else knows oh she's gonna go now oh she's gonna go now okay if we're a little late to school that's okay we want to make sure we're okay even though you know she want to make sure it's real it's really happening so we might be a little late to school and we might not go to school with her we might just meet with her after oh wait we can go no we'll let her finish her appointment i'm not really that fond of the school setting anymore like that anyway so it's okay we'll kind of just skip through this part we'll go to school with her the next day and today we'll just let her do her own thing all right she went to the OBGYN and it says the baby's progressing well and sydney must be doing something right so all right and she's gonna be at school so we're gonna let her do her school thing um and i'll see you guys when she gets back Okay, Sydney came home from school, super tense still. And she got some new buffs, but she's getting ready to go to cheer practice. So um, I'm just gonna press play and kind of read the buffs so we can uh, see them. So she got the motherhood worries. Actually, I'm gonna pause. Uh, motherhood worries from teen pregnancy. No matter how Sydney feels about pregnancy, being a pregnant teen carries its share of freakouts. What will she do about school? How to take care of the baby? Where will she find all the necessary money? How to deal with everyone's judgment? The list of worries go on and on. Oh, girl, bless your heart. Then she has eventful school day. A friend of Sydney at school gave her some drugs. <laughs> what? She already had drugs. They gave her another one? Damn, they don't know she's pregnant though. And then too much study in school can make any kid a little tense. The edge of a breakout not ready for this sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at a time when you don't want a child hits you like a train and she's craving something sweet and she just had an annoying school day she's just having an all-around bad day i'm so sorry sydney look how sad she looks her outfit cute though but she look hella sad bro hella sad all right, I'm gonna let her go ahead to cheer practice because, you know, she's a cheer captain. She can't keep missing practice. I know, boo-boo, don't cry. Listen, go to practice. You late. Oh, look. Anhe came to speak to you. We'll go talk to her after school. Actually, we need to go talk to our boyfriend and let him know that we're pregnant. That's what we need to do. But Anhe was, you know... She realized she wasn't at school these last couple days and she just came today. So she seen that she was having a hard day. Maybe she really wanted to talk to her and be a friend. What time does practice in 5.30? We still have time to go talk to Marvin. Come back when she's done. All right, so Sydney's back. She's in her chilling uniform still. We're gonna immediately kind of set something up for her and uh, Marvin real quick so they can talk. This is immediate. She has to share this news. Ah! okay we are out here we are out here uh with mr marvin i'm gonna change her back into her like kind of winter clothes kind of thing um actually let's just say she came back from practice and kind of put this on real quick just to go out with him real quick just to you know say hello <laughs> no let's stop let's put let's put on what she had when she went to school Let's stop playing like that. All right, she went to school in this. Uh, they are at this little teen hangout I have here. Um, if I can find the name of it, I will definitely put it in the description box below for you guys to get yourselves. It's really nice, actually. I think this is like a, uh, I don't know. Is this like a little junk house? Oh, it's like an old abandoned house. Interesting. They can come and explore here um and then in the middle is a store i'm assuming oh like a bookstore or something 
and over here is like a little restaurant um oh yeah a little restaurant or something i guess that's where we're gonna hang out the most i'm trying to make sure there's a host there is okay yeah we'll just come here now basically we're just gonna say that she called marvin and was like hey can we talk like you know We've been really shaky lately and I don't really want to be a bother, but all right. So after they go ahead and um, order their food, we're going to have them talk a little. So I'm just going to have her ask how his day was and, you know, how did everything go at the party? Because she ended up leaving. All right. Talk to her a little bit. Apologize for being mean to her at the party. You were just trying to have a good time and he just didn't. All right. Okay. I don't really see anything about sharing the big news so i guess this is the way we kind of have to do it by just doing what i did <laughs> um he didn't have a reaction to that though but let's see she has a buff called shared dismay sydney's partner fully understood her dis how distraught she is at the news of this pregnancy because they feel the exact same way it helps sydney not feel alone in this experience so he's not ready either, obviously. I don't even think he wants children with right now, obviously, but discuss about future with baby, um, which obviously isn't gonna be good. We, we can go ahead and discuss about possibly terminating the pregnancy or putting the baby up for adoption, one or the other. I want you guys to comment below what you guys think we should do. It's gonna be either of those options, either her getting an abortion or her um putting the baby up for adoption later um so that she can still see the baby you know once she gets herself together or something you know but let's share worries about pregnancy let's just see what he says he won't sit the fuck down so i don't really know what's going on with that but i know he isn't happy i can tell you that he's just flirty because of the date situation but he does not have a buff specifically Let's just see what else she can talk about because she already kind of expressed used the. Oh, wait, no, we didn't tell him that he was the pappy, though. Tell him that he's the pappy. You're the pappy, though. You know, you're the pappy, right? I hope you know you're the pappy. I want to see what his buff is for that one, the pappy thing. No bad surprise from paternity discussion. Marvin's partner says Marvin is the father of the of their child, whether wanting children or not. And an exclusive relationship is still comforting to know at least you're the partner. I mean, the father, basically. Let's see if he can say anything to her about it. He's like, what are you gonna do about this baby? Are you gonna keep it or like, are you serious, Marvin? I don't plan, I don't know what I plan on doing right now. And he's like, you gonna get that baby, boy, baby. You, you, you gonna, you gonna have an abortion, right? She's like, I don't know. Like, why are you even doing this right now? Oh, regret having woohoo. I really don't, I didn't think it was gonna end up like this. And then you tripping and like, this is a lot, Sydney. This is a lot. And she's like, don't you think I freaking know that? Don't you think I know that? I knew he wasn't man enough to handle this anyway. Oh, look at her face. <laughs> oh. Look at her face. She's so mad. <laughs> She's like, I can't stand him. Oh my God. Sydney, like, are you serious? Like, do you really think I want this baby? I didn't want this to happen to me. Like, are you crazy? Because it was for the wrong reasons. What was I thinking? <laughs> I guess I wasn't. Oh, now you regret it. You can't be out here regretting it. Sydney, this is too much. I am about to be a star football player. We needed to go to college. We haven't even been to college yet. Don't you think I know that, Marvin? I know that we still have school to worry about. I'm not here to, I don't know, make you be a father all of a sudden. I didn't want this to happen. She's like, really? He like, I got other stuff planned. She doesn't care. Cause she like, bruh, so do I. I also have things planned. I was supposed to be doing cheer in college or something. Like I had things planned too. She won the argument, and that's on period. Oh, she got mad, man. She mad, man. Wait, what's her buff? How dare they from having a similar? Why would you regret who after having it? Shame. I am done with this individual. Oh, she's done with him. Because he is really mad at her for being pregnant. Wow. 
Oh, now you gonna be like that with me for real? Out here in public? And then gonna send a pic to another girl. He is, he really ain't shit. He really ain't shit. Marvin, now I did not ask to be pregnant by your ugly butt. I did not. Matter of fact, throw the drink on him and break up with him. Be like, fuck you. I'm done with you. I knew, bro, I just knew he was gonna act like this, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. I knew he was gonna be mad about it. I knew. Throw that drink on him. Fuck you, Marvin. I am so done with this relationship. So done. You are so terrible to me. Like, what is wrong with you? What is really wrong with you? Something's really wrong with you, and you need help. I know that I'm pregnant, and this is not good for us, but I can't do this with you anymore. Because apparently you don't know how to step up anyway. I don't want that for my baby. And they paid his bill. It was $32. We're going to get it back because uh, we're not paying for him. Um, Fuck that. And they pay that bill. We're done with Marvin. Let's see what sentiment we got for him. We got, ooh, had a child together. We about to have a child together. <laughs> Oh, furious. Just the sight of Marvin gets Sydney nerves these days. Bitter about breakups. Sydney can't quite shake some resentment towards Marvin about their romantic relationship ended. Sydney might find it unpleasant to be around Marvin for a while. And he is guilty. Marvin feels bad about something that happened with Sydney, but doesn't know how to make it right. Oh, he feels bad for being mean to her about it, though. But he is mad about it. But he is sad about doing that. And then dejected in rejection. Marvin doesn't necessarily blame Sydney for turning him down. But it still sometimes feel bad to be around Sydney. Oh. Okay, girl. Let's go home. Okay, guys. Sydney is back home. And she's actually feeling flirty from this date. Which we'll just disregard. Because she wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> be on a date in the first place. She still looks kind of sad, unfortunately, and the bills are due, so we'll pay those in a sec. Um, argument triumph. She is happy that she won the argument, though. She did She did have some logical points there. Um, she's energized because she wants the party. I don't know if she's going to... I don't know. Sydney is really having a hard time. She's furious. Um, she's still upset about the pregnancy, the school day, her breakup. She just got broken up with. She's tired. She has a lot going on. From disclosing parenthood, Sydney's partner reacted very well to being told they are the other parent for Sydney's latest child. So he at least was all right knowing he was the daddy, but he's still mad about doing what he's doing. Um, We're gonna, it's 11 o'clock at night? Sydney, baby, you've been through a lot. <laughs> um, Your brother's in the bathroom, so we'll just let you go straight to bed. Cause at this point, You've had a long day. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And I know you need to keep your grades up, though. But we are definitely going to give you the benefit of the doubt <laughs> with that. <laughs> and um, while she's sleeping, I'm definitely going to, like, pay the bills and all of that. So I'm going to let Sydney sleep and finally get some peace in her life for a second. And then when I wake up, we'll go from there. Oh, okay. Well... We're back a little sooner than expected, my loves. Um, <laughs> just got the news. Um, that uh, her brother's girlfriend is also pregnant. We are definitely struggling, but yeah. So I'm just have the girlfriend come tell the boyfriend now. If she can, um, yeah. Why do I get the share big news option with him, but I don't have it with Sydney? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get Sydney up though, because Sydney does have to pee, and we'll go ahead and let her take a shower as well. Uh, do all of these things at once. Get her some body wash going. Sharing your big news. I want to see his reaction to her. Oh, is he happy? Oh, he is happy. They are engaged, though. So that's exciting that he is happy about her being pregnant, though. Um, I don't think he's going to be so happy about his sister, but maybe we should in this episode go ahead and tell him only because we're not going to be playing with Sydney for the rest of this sim week. So um, we're going to go ahead and announce. Oh, I'll, I'll 
pause her pregnancy. We'll do it next episode of hers. I really did not think this was going to happen to her, y'all. I honestly, truly did not want to have a teen pregnancy in this LP. First of all, I didn't even know that they could still get pregnant. Somebody told me that the Sims, that the teens couldn't even get pregnant anymore. So I just thought them messing around, what's it going to do much? Like, I, I really didn't know. Like, if I'd have known, I definitely would have had Sydney on birth control. Like, now I'm about to put all my Sims on birth control because what we not going to do is have a bunch of pregnant ass heroes running around. I did not know this was going to happen. It is realistic to what I'm going for, though, but... I definitely did not know um, that this was happening. So please do not blame me because I did not know that she was going to be pregnant. I did not know that that was going to happen to her. She wants to make a new friend. Um, Sydney is super sad, but I think Sydney, the way Sydney is, she's, she would want to like party her problems away. Um, and due to that, we are definitely going to plan a party for later. We're going to have a little, well, there's a little get together later on tonight. Um, the cheerleaders and the football players wanted to kind of get together, chill out, have some fun, hang out at the little uh, teen hangout. Um, so that's what we're going to do after we get out of school. While she has some time, though, I am going to have her do her homework. I'm just going to cheat her fun. I don't care. Um, have her do her homework. I know she's sad and she's probably not going to be super focused today and she's super sad today. So her outfit is going to be perfect <laughs> for how she feels. Um, she's warm and cozy. I do need to get the mod to make their homework faster because this shit takes three sim hours to finish. Who the fuck takes three hours to do homework? Not me. If the bitch ain't done in the first hour, it ain't getting done. I'm going to just be real about it. It ain't getting done. All right, let's join her in school. Alrighty, guys, so we are here at school. Sydney is actually happy right now. She ate, she smells nice, she got a good shower in, and she's high. She's actually doing really fine right now, but I think this is the class she's gonna come into. All my Sims come into this class, so I think this is what she's gonna come into. We also need to ask Tiffany to be on the cheerleading team, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it's her coming in here on her phone. She hasn't posted on social money or um looked on social money in a while. So we definitely need to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game right here though. Okay, and while we are in class, we're just gonna go ahead and open up social money real quick. I went a little too hard. It was supposed to be a friendly pillow. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, let's see what messages we got. I just remember an awesome person you are. Thought I'd share. Marvin, get the fuck out of here. Camille, Sydney, what's up, buddy? Hey, we haven't spoke to our friends' friends in a minute. We definitely need to speak to them at this little get-together. Not even Calpulet wants to be around you. Sade! Sade, don't get this fucking work, bitch. I will fuck you up. Matter of fact, meet me at the school, Sade, if that's really how you feel. Because at this point, fuck that. New post. Actually, go back. Tag a sim, because we ain't scared. Sade, me message. Meet me after school, that's basically what it's saying. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Meet me, meet me downstairs after school, and we can fight. And that's up here. Maybe even at lunch. We might have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe at lunch. And I'm ready. Because what's up? Let's have her finish her little class day. Go to lunch. Because I'm about to fuck Sydney up. I mean, Sade. It's not Sydney. Sade. No, nah, come on. Because fight me. Because you talking all that on social money? Really? Yeah. And say it to her face. And I said your mama was a llama. So what's up? So what's up? Why you walking away? Why you walking away? She's a scary. She is so scary. Bring your butt back over here. Don't ruin this for me. I want to beat you up. <laughs> okay, she came back. Okay, you want this work then? What's up? What's up? Move, London. What's up? <laughs> also What's up? What's up? That's why your skin acting stupid. What's up? What's up? I ain't about to act nothing. I'm about to shove this. What's up? No, don't sit down. Okay, we'll sit down, I guess. Okay. Be like, Sade, so what was all that you was talking on social, buddy? Your mama's still a llama, so what you gonna do about it? So what you gonna do about it? Get out of this chair. Get out that chair, girl, shove her. She's like, are you serious? Yeah, get out that chair and shove her. 
Get off this chair and shove her. What's up? You want to fight? You, what, what you want to do? She's like, Sydney, stop. Nobody wants to fight you. No, nah, because you want to talk all that? No, nah, you want to shove her again. I bet you won't do nothing. You scary, because you're scary. Don't be mad because you're scary. You're scary. Shove her again, because I bet you won't fight me. So what's up? So what's up? She's like, girl, I'm... She's like, you... Because you always... Got coming to my mother... <laughs> now talk about me on social media again. And I... You, at, girl, let's see if you... Were, oh, my drink. No, we fucking up. Got her laughing at me. Now she's going to spread a rumor about that. Can we just fight? You lucky that bell rung. I got to get to class. Girl, I will, look at her mad. Don't worry about it, girl. If I can fight you at the school, I definitely am. Don't even worry about it, girl, because you lucky that bell rung, and I need you to get to class. Did our teacher just not show up for class? Is that what happened? Our teacher didn't even show up for class. I... I'm so over this goddamn high school years pack. All right, I guess I can't fight. I'm going home. Fuck this. All right, Sydney is sleepy, but it's only five o'clock. We're gonna let her take a nap before um the little get together. So just take your little quick nap, girl. Let you get your little your nap in, and then once the get the uh get together starts, we'll just go and try to get her mind off of everything. Okay, y'all, so we are here at uh, this little get-together. Marvin is here. He's missing a head. Everything's already seeming bad. Um, Like I said, the cheerleaders and the um football players are supposed to be here, so I'm going to make sure that happens. Um, We got the music going. Got that bumping. Her friends are here, so she's just going to try to relax, let loose, have some fun. We're gonna go ahead and hire a vendor here so we can have some food here. I love this little lot. By the way, uh, I will link this lot again. I linked it in the last video I used and I will link it again. But I would like to tell our friends separately, I guess then, um, about our pregnancy. Unfortunately, we do have to tell them that way. Um, let me change her outfit because she looks a mess. She looks a mess. We don't want her to look a mess. But she's having a hard time, so we're just gonna let her dance it off with her friends. Oh, she just started smoking. No, so just doing what the fuck she wants. She like, <laughs> if I'm gonna have this damn baby, then I'm gonna do what I want to do. I mean, shit. She's in a rebellious stage right now. She's pregnant. She doesn't know what to do about the baby. Again, please comment below if you think guys think she should abort the baby or give it up for adoption. And I'm going to put a poll also on the community tab once this video is out so you guys can decide then. But she is dancing and smoking her life away right now. And we're going to, you know, get Lynn over here since we got Lynn. Announce unwanted pregnancy to Lynn. Does this lady not have any eyebrows? Oh, no, they're just blonde. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, we're going to eat. She's tired. She got a lot going on. What are you going to eat? A BLT sandwich? Yeah, so too hungry to do anything else right now. I'm gonna let her live. I'm gonna let her eat her little sandwich so she can gather that. I think Ane is sitting down. Well, what's been going on with you? I've been trying to talk to you forever. Like, you're not answering the door. You're not coming to school lately. Like, what's up? Yo, he needs to move. Let's ask her if she's single. But just just to get our minds off of everything going on. Who? Why is he trying to talk to us? No, don't chat with Marvin. Like, okay, on hey, this is the reason why I've been gone. So, yeah, I'm pregnant. She's like, oh my God, that is so much. She's like, I know, and I don't know what to do. Oh, on hey, feels her pain. Is on hey gonna be her new bestie and help her out? Yes, they got pregnant but didn't want to. Such a difficult situation, and it makes on hey troubled to hear about it. Oh, on hey. She has such a good heart, though. That's the thing. She does have such a good heart. Oh, she has a buff. Single parent from not having a partner. It was hard to tell another sim about not having a serious romantic partner all the while being pregnant. Sydney couldn't help feeling ashamed. Sydney. Oh, you got it. You're going to tell Camille. Camille came to make sure she was okay, too. Hey, girl. How you been? Camille's a drug dealer. Tell, tell Camille the news, since Camille's here. Oh, yes. Express feelings about being pregnant. 
Oh God, everybody's crying together. She's so tense. All right, try to have some fun, sis. Here, let's play the arcade game with our girls, Lynn, Camille, and Shay, I guess. Shay has been really distant lately, so I don't really know what the f her deal is, but let's do Anhe since Anhe has been a really good friend lately. Even this wasn't fun for her. What the fuck, Sydney? All right, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know it really wasn't going as planned for me, so I don't really know how you guys liked it, but the tea is real. Sydney is pregnant, honey, and she's in her first trimester. And by the time we get back to her, she will definitely be in her second trimester. So that's that. Um, It's seeming like her and Anhe are going to get closer due to this pregnancy as Anhe doesn't want to leave her alone. Um, so I think Anhe is going to be a really good friend to her and as well as Camille. I think Camille is actually going to be a really good friend to her too lately. I don't know about Lynn. I think Lynn is really going to kind of get disowned a little bit because she's not really being a friend lately. And Tiffany just is Tiffany. Um, but other than that, y'all, please comment below or answer the poll um, on whether you think, um, Sydney should give the baby up for adoption when she has it or just terminate the pregnancy altogether. Um, Marvin is really not going to be involved in this pregnancy as far as like, he doesn't want to be a dad. Um, he made that very clear. So that's just clear as it's going to get. Uh, so we'll just see what happens with Sydney, but our next episode is definitely going to be on and on. Hey, um, as we haven't played with them in a minute. So on and on, Hey, will be next. And then, of course, we're going to play with Alina for the homecoming, as you guys wished. And after that, I guess Marvin or something like that. We'll see. We'll have another <laughs> another weekend with Marvin. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, uh, if you like this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that bell notification to be notified. So, I post a motherfucking video. And again, thank you guys so much for 10K. We did have a 10K celebration and I will be posting the, or I probably already have posted the 10K celebration stream that I've already done. So check that out. If I've already posted it, if I haven't, then that means I'm going to post it soon. So yeah. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys next video live stream. Bye. I'm